this is exciting. I think we're live. I think we're live. TJ. How can we check? It's, di <laughs> it's difficult. We'll just assume. Oh, look, because it says we're live. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hello, everybody. Oh, hello, everybody. I waved at the right camera this time. So I have got the um, projector screen not down. So next to me, oh, we've got the beautiful uh, <laughs> windows of St. Stephen's Church, along with the lovely echo of St. Stephen's Church. Echo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so what are we doing today? So today we're going to try and make a platformer game within an hour So any suggestions, please try and make it so they're um, going to be suitable for a platforming game And it's going to be like the classic retro ones like Super Mario or Sonic Oh, do you know what? Look, look at that Impact Gamers, this one's still not We're live on, uh, we're not live on YouTube What? 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 Let's just double check this we should be. What's happening here? Yeah, it says we are. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's two people watching. Oh. We, so there we go. Some people. There we go. That's it. There ha, we are live. Anyway, we're using Click Team Fusion a free edition so that you can join in at home. You just need to head on to. Oh, look at this. I, can I type and talk at the same time? The answer is no because I'm stuck. <laughs> if you head to clickteam.com, you can download the free edition of. Fusion to bump five. So they work on Fusion 3, TJ, which is going to be very exciting because yes. it's going to be cross-platform. They're making it in like C and Java and other complicated things, which means that you could be able to use it on your Mac. Oh, oh. Maybe even on the tablet. I've got to get, get, get use out of things. it. But for the moment, we're using Fusion 2.5, which runs in Windows, or you can run it in... Um, you can run it on uh, a Macintosh uh, using Wine Bottler yes. to load it up. And you can download it off their website at clickteam.com. Um, so, platformers like Mario, like Sonic. Yes. Modern ones. What modern ones? What modern ones are there? More recently, um, yeah. Abe's Odyssey. Abe's. That's not very more recent. No, it's quite, still quite old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Mark but, of the Ninja. I think that's classed as a platformer. Ooh, 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 that's great. What is it? Ten Second Ninja as well is a platformer style game where you've got to defeat all the enemies in ten seconds. But yeah. you're a character, you can jump up through platforms, you can climb up ladders, um, but you can't go through obstacles. And those are the three background types that Fusion has. So I think TJ's going to set up a world environment. Yes. Um, hello Kyle, what's up? Um, I don't know, what's up TJ? We're making a game, yeah. making a game, and we've started the time when <laughs> we've got 59 minutes. That's what's up. Give us some ideas for character. So I'll write some uh, different things. We want to know uh, who the character is. So we're a character with a couple. <laughs> what world with a... <laughs> I can't type. <laughs> what world, what character, um, what enemy. Oh, and the quest. Platformers are yes. often quest We, games, we need they? a quest. quest. We need a what good quest. What are we quest. trying to achieve here? the quest before the enemies because that'll help us understand that so um yeah um oh i've lost the comments on here so um an idea for one of the characters could be impact adam so please just join in with your comments um, i'm not sure yeah. what an impact adam would look like i don't know um should we, should we do our own face, version or? of it or is it just going to be you but catapulted like towards enemies is that the attack um just no. run head first no, I said we'd go for suggestions, but we're going to wait for another <laughs> suggestion beyond that. So um, Impact Adam can be the name. And yeah. we'll, wait so. a second, I'm just going to there we go. make sure that we can see the comments beautifully. Right, so uh, we'll just call it player. So we've got Labeling player. Labeling your objects is very important. TJ will now label them because when you put in an active object and click to yes. you get the turquoise diamond. And I'll just call it active, active two, active three, active four, um, which makes it very difficult to code. Now, TJ, you've got an active for the floor, but with Click Team, we can use yes, backdrops. Ba backdrops as floors. So backdrops can have three different types, like I said before. Backdrops can be platforms that you can jump through and land on top. They can be ladders that you can climb up, and they can be obstacles that you can't get past. Um, so I think TJ is going to do... So I was going to be quite lazy and cheeky in doing the floor and so i've got a motif for the backdrop which yep. i'm just going to make look like oh, some what sky we, we need to find the world when we find the world we'll know yeah um, so i'm doing this just so i can really quickly change whatever great. the suggestion is oh, going to be okay, okay. and then I'll the floor on, is going to be favorite, um, just a block color good i'll get ready on our favorite free picture site pixabay.com with royalty free Copyright zero images. Okay, so um, 
I think, do you know what? We, we won a BAFTA. Impact Games got the Young Games Designer Mentor Award 2018. Woo! And they came with the BAFTA bag. And I, I didn't bring it. I'll bring it tomorrow. <laughs> there's a pack of BAFTA idea cards. But they're like playing cards. But you pick them out and there's scenarios and characters and worlds. So um, just to help up people being slow to work out yeah. what they want. Then, a few uh, suggestions. A few yeah. suggestions. So um, I'm going to um, suggest then that we both come up with an idea of the world, okay? Yeah. After three, have you thought of something? Um, ooh. Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Candyland. Underwater, underwater Candyland. Underwater Candyland. There we go, fantastic. Oh, there we go. So um, I'm going to, the background being watery, and then candy being the objects that we get? Yes. Fantastic. So we, the world is underwater candy. So I've got the player, well, it doesn't even fit on. which I'm going to leave to be the design for later. I'm just going to mm -hmm. start sorting out its movement properties and turning it into a platform. platform. Great. And then we've got a... So platform is the thing we're actually going to walk on yep. and floor is just going to be a design overlay for... So I'm going to do a backdrop for the water and then the ground You're gonna is going to have a separate. foreground? Hmm? Oh, that's going to be nice. So what? If we have time, it's more of a, a backup. But yeah, <laughs> we, we should do. We, we, we've got an alright start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. So um, we should be all right. There's in, um, not impact. There's a click team fusion um, is definitely set up for platform movement. That's one of its things that it's got done from the beginning. You don't really need to do any code. Oh, I've got some lovely ripples here, TJ, for our underwater world that we've oh, built. Use that oh a frog thank you so a character we've got a character from tim there the nice. name of the game is evil oh the name the enemy's name is evil evil time evil time or maybe the enemy could be time itself just a giant clock possibly well we'll go with that thanks tim and kyle for those suggestions yep. um right okay i'm just confirming i am not a robot <laughs> And now I can download files. It's written, like, in the future, I want to warn you that when the robot uprising happens, these robots will be really annoyed they can't access download sites. They just be, won't be able to prove that they're not a robot. No. And it'll, it'll be horrible. Right. So I can actually scrap um, the quick backdrop if we're going to use that instead. You're going to use a motif. I'm going to do this as, ah, a, as a motif. Okay. okay. That's what I'm going to do. But, um, so my trick is, so I've got this lovely water here. Look at the lovely water. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it does look good. I'm going to... Make this canvas twice as long, which means that I'm going to not stretch it, but just make it twice as long. So 200% in our old friend uh, Photoshop elements. So now you can see that we've got the water and then a blank area. I'm then going to copy the water, paste it, and then I'm going to flip it so that they join together seamlessly so that TJ can have his world as long as possible and it can be seamless. So there we go so image rotate and flip the layer horizontal transform rotate flip layer horizontal uh okay okay right great fantastic uh whoops just deleted part of it so tj saved in the x drive oh wait a minute how tall is your Ooh. world are you just going off the standard click yeah, yeah just 40 by 480 yes okay i'll make it 480 okay there we go Oh, I've got a bit of a seam here. Oh, that's a point. I'm going to extend the level. Um. So the frame can be bigger than the application, which means that you can get scrolling, which is very useful for a platform game. Yes. The original arcade games, they're platform games, like Joust and stuff like that. You couldn't go off the screen. But oh, thanks to modern technology of more memory. So uh, I'm going to start it at 2000, see what kind of time we get on with. OK, I called it BG for oh. background. So Done you can just. Right. I thought because of oh, our previous XMY water game, TJ, our yes. previous water games, I was like. So leave that so, at 480. Yeah. Yeah. And and then then make that longer. Fantastic. Right. So we've got the enemy. What's our quest, ladies and gentlemen? This is the question that we want answered for you. What should we be doing? We are a frog traveling through <laughs> fighting time as we go. <laughs> With candy. So oh, TJ, in the water. one yes. quick solution is you can change the settings of the size and position. Yep. And then you can set it exactly to the size that you want and lock it into place after we've changed the image to what you want. 2000, I think, is what I put it as. And then oh, do you know what, TJ? This background, um, is gonna be I'm nice. going to show you a nice trick, ladies and gentlemen, to make it a bit less opaque, a bit less solid. Just BG. That's it. Down. Yeah, BG, yeah. Okay. 
Now, press OK again. If you can, in its settings, go down to, um, does it have it? Oh, no, display settings, the next one along, sorry. Um, change ah, it, yes. Yeah, change its coefficient. So we can go up to 255 to make it see-through. So halfway, 128, will mean that it's half see-through. Now, because the background's white, it will look pale and white. So what we can do is click on the frame, and in the frame settings, we can set change a background its, color yeah. uh, to maybe a dark blue or something. Maybe a greenier Ooh, blue. Uh, blue. Like a turquoise? Yeah. No, 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 not Something quite. <laughs> other, other and, and feast on the There we go. Uh, so we want, want maybe that one. Yeah. There we yeah, go. perfect. All right. I'm going to get a frog. Um, we'll need a name for this game as well. So, um, so time the quest is, is to save the princess. Thanks for that, Tim. You have the frog saving the princess rather the princess saving the frog. I'm going to um, up the stakes a bit. Rather than saving a princess, in this world of gender equality, we have to save the whole royal community. All of them? All of them. Be them king. In queen. an hour, we're going to save all of them. Save, this is, this save is the royalty. Real, just, yeah. just save royalty along. Maybe multiple people. Maybe you start off like you save a count, and then you save a duke or a duchess and stuff like that. Work your way up to king and queen standard. Oh, my goodness. I think candy could be the collectible. Yes, fantastic. Okay, well, I'm so going to get you a frog, um, a frog character. Okay. Oh, one thing is, if we're underwater, should we uh, possibly set gravity to be lower for this platform game? It's just a question. No. I don't know. Gravity still works with water, though. Yeah. It's just less effective, depending on what you're made out of. Right, okay. Um, let's see that. So, right. Let's have a look. Name of the game, that's what we really want to think about. <laughs> okay, right, we have a choice of frogs, okay? Um, what about that dude there? Or, look, that one's already got a crown on him, so that fits the theme. Or we've got a very zen one wearing a blue... <laughs> I don't know. Is there any turn slightly on the side? <laughs> uh, this one, the confused, a confused one. Wait a second, I'm running out of space. I <laughs> can't move the screen! No, I'm, I'm flashing, just wait a second. There's a confused frog. I do, I do like the confused frog. Yeah, okay. I mean, there's I, the, there's I, the confused frog. I could just rotate it. And what do people think? What type of frog? Frog goes through time is the name. I think that's, that, that works. Or frog through time. Frog through time. Well, how about through time? And then maybe we could have a weapon of throwing stuff. Of No, maybe that's too much. Okay. <laughs> How how can we defeat time? What what I don't know, we do? What, what, the uni the uni frog is scaring me a little bit. That, but okay. Yeah. Um, the confused frog. We'll go for the confused frog as our as our character. Whilst you're doing that, yes. You guys in the comments, if you can think of some sub enemies, so not the boss, the actual things we're going to fight along the way. So oh. if you can think of that, that would be awesome. Just whilst we're doing this, um, yes, we need mini enemies. So. Great. And we need it so when we jump on top of them, um, then we'll destroy them. Yeah, yeah, or you can do that. That's no problem. Yes, because there is a. Oh no, wait, if we add no. sub enemies. Click Team has different animations for what's happening with your object. So when it's falling, when it's attacking, when it's bouncing, all of those different things. We're just going to concentrate on moving left and right. So um, there's if you double click on your player, you can import from our lovely X Drive frog. Number, 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 number. Yeah, okay. It's going to end up being too big, so you'll have to resize it. But uh, there we go. Flipping it around immediately, using the mirror to flip it around. <laughs> and uh, we just need to shrink them down to an appropriate size. And for a platform game, you probably want them to be about an eighth the size of the screen, don't you? So that they can work their way up and down. Now, so TJ, what he's going to do is he's going to edit the image, and he's going to set an animation for the other direction. Now... If you can see on the list, there's walking and stop. We're just going to use stopped for the moment, and he's going to copy and paste it in. And you see it going black? That little square went black. It just means that animation thing is filled. Um, how's the center yeah. points on our things? Because we keep on Ooh. messing up. Oh, looking yeah. good. Yeah. Now, on a platform game, you should ideally place them in the bottom middle to allow best collisions. Um, that's for physics platform. That's really important. But for normal platform games, we'll get away with it if we're not using physics. So, have a choice of mini enemies. Okay, lizards. Lizards? Evil frogs eating pigs. Now, I want to say, Tim, that, um, and sharks. Okay, we, we have to authorise that comment. YouTube wants to block you saying, 
evil frog eating pigs. We'll just <laughs> allow, allow that to appear on the on the feed because um, yeah. Good choice of censoring material there, YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a word um, sharks. Yeah. Did we not ban that yesterday? Oh, only little ones that are under the age of five. So we're okay with That's that. Right. Okay, that, that is fine. Do, 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 do. Right. So lizards, frogs. Okay, newts. Right. Uh, well, seeing as Tim had choice uh, before, I think we're going to only pick one of his ideas. Sharks and pigs and evil frogs. Yes, I know. I know. It was YouTube blocking us. Don't just keep on commenting pigs. <laughs> okay. We'll start to be offensive at one point. Okay. So... Uh, oh. I, I think maybe sharks. Sharks fits the underwater. Sharks and possibly newts. So... Do you know what scares me most in the, this world of creation? What? Eels. I can't Eels. handle Eels? I can't handle them. It's just freaky. Right, okay. I um, don't... I've not personally met any but i think if i did <laughs> well they're like snakes yeah. but they can move up and down in the water yeah I'm, I'm good with snakes but not water so yeah i think an eel would definitely put me off right okay um so. i'm really quickly gonna make it so if the frog jumps and lands on top of a shark it will destroy the shark but if it hits it yep. from another direction it will injure the player instead okay so i'm really gonna quickly do that if it, yeah, and then we'll need our bits of codes in terms of platforms. I'm going to grab some platforms, some ladders, and some uh, obstacles. So I've, yes. I've got a rock that you can use as an obstacle, because we all know from a young age you can't travel through rock. Okay. Uh, there we go. So I'll call that obstacle. Do you know what? I'll clear up all of this <laughs> left mess from the other other games. Oh, and what you should do is you should save your game. Save your work regularly and often use numbers. So, because yes. um, uh, we don't trust Windows to always work. Okay, so I'm. What, what would be a ladder underwater? Um, Kyle, you're going to be banned if you start talking about sharks that are not adult. Okay, we're going to. I am not going to read that comment. No. no, I will not. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. So, um, we are going to make. I'm going to grab, I'm going to build a platform out of this rock. So, I've got a rock here, a beautiful rock, and what I'm going to do oh, is oh. I'm just going to trim it down just to the mossy bits, which is probably a phrase that you haven't heard often. Uh, and there we go. And so that this can be a platform. There we go. I'm going to make quite a small platform because then TJ can tile them. You can put multiple ones next to each other to, uh, to make a platform. So, let's just uh, save this as platform. Okay, and what ladders underwater, what should um, we have? We'll let people decide as I get some candy. Maybe some coral, just like a, a structure of yeah. coral. Nets? Yeah. What, what could our ladders be? Let us know. So all I've done is I've really quickly made it so the sharks have a path movement, so when we put them in the level, they'll automatically just swim back and forth and if you land on top of them, you defeat them. If they hit you and you're not landing on top of them, I'm going to make it so that then you lose a oh, life. Can I, can, I, can I see that code? So if you hit them and you're facing those directions. Now, the only, uh, the only issue is that sometimes when you jump using this um, and you land, you're facing down. So you could be stood still and facing down. So the one way that we can do that is check yes. that we actually have a speed as well and make this a triple thing <laughs> so of just checking that we have speed. So compare the speed is greater than zero. And then that knows that we're moving downwards and we collide. So that's a multiple and thing, which we do by click, right clicking on the words in Collect Infusion, inserting an extra condition that need to be uh, done. Right, can we have a look to see if anyone's commented about ladders at the moment? Maybe some nets, fishing nets? Yeah, that would work underwater. Yeah. Okay, right, I'll leave you to uh, play the game. I was going to get the shark. Wait, uh, have you, what other images have we currently got? We've we got, got an obstacle and a platform, so you can put the platform in. Right. Yep. Let's add you. Oh my word. The, the, sh the sh choice of sharks are uh, well, oh, there we go. I've got a perfect one to fit with our confused frog. So once again, I'm using pixabay.com to get these uh, wonderful things. All right. And you it? can change the shark. It's not letting me crop it any more than that. Um. Oh, I must have <laughs> left a bit in. Ah, oh, if I've left a tiny dot in the edge, yeah, I'll, I'll show just, you, I'll show you the cheeky way side. of doing it. 
yeah. Oh. A tiny pixel, all we do is go to the resize, change down the width, and that should have cut it. Oh, maybe not. Change down the height as well. Do you know what? I'll just do it in Photoshop and <laughs> we're nearly there, nearly there. <laughs> nearly there, just the width a bit more. Must be some almost see through things. I think that might be. No, it's no. not it. It's not it. It's not it. I'll save it again. Get ready to import. Are you ready, TJ? Yes. Good. I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. It was greater than mine. Right, here we go. In five, four, three. The two, suspense is killing me. One. Done. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, it, it's it platform. Won't. It was there. It was there. It was there. I don't know if it had updated. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Truly updated. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Now, are we going to have it that you can die if you go off the bottom of the screen? Yes. Okay. Fine. It will That's be an abyss. Okay. The bottom of the shark screen. objects there for you to add in, so you can um, nice. start coding that in. We can start large. So I need to find some sweets. So this website being American, I'm going to search for candy. There we go. Lots of candy. Uh, it's really posh things like macaroons and stuff like that. Macaroons. I think macaroons is a perfect thing for a frog to collect underwater. <laughs> What do we think? I love it. It's so abstract. Although it doesn't fit with a colour scheme or style or anything. Macaroons from a party. There we go. Look at that. They look a bit like clams. Seashells. Yes. It works. We'll do Let's it. Let's do it. We'll do it. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, well. No, they're in. I'm trying to think of... Um, what's it called? Um, you, some have to, you have to give me some... Belgium clues. chocolate. Um, they do like a the shells. Yeah, they, they do, do them and cheap and little, and uh, you take them to and seahorses. Yeah. Yes, um, the uh, something vine. Um, no, the praline, praline, praline chocolates. There we go. Fantastic. So I'm just going to cut out this blue. This is a hideous. Who would eat a blue macaroon? Press like if you'd eat a blue macaroon, and watch the likes not flood in. Right. There we go. Macaroon. Um, what shall I call this? I'm going to call this sweet, just to help with the labelling. Um, and what else did I need? A net. To, a net. A net! <laughs> Where are you? Where is she? <laughs> a net. I've, do you know what? I've written a net as in a, the lady's name now. We could just have a lady. We could have a lady called a net that we're able to climb up. This is what we fight against daily at Impact Game, is young people who have hilarious ideas that will make no sense to anyone else who plays the game. Um, so let's not do that. It let's may have some side effects on us. Yes, Slightly. I think so. Uh, there we go. So, Do you know what? It's hard to have a picture of a net because most of the net is see-through. Oh, so what, have you done shark and yes. the candy? Shark and candy, yep. There we go. So you can have a, the shark will be quite large, so you'll have to scale them down yeah. afterwards. But look at that. That's good, isn't it? I like that. It's a good one. I'm just going I thought it quickly... fitted in with the style, and then I just got macaroons that completely didn't. Right, okay, we're coming up to halfway. Oh. We're doing fine. There we go. So, um, I will... Oh, shall I make them slightly wiggly? Slightly wiggly, but not too wiggly, because if you've got to climb up a ladder, you don't have to press left and right as you do it. You just want to press up. Okay, perfect. That's a big shark. It's like the Megalodon is in the game. Oh dear, I had I had a lot of feathering happening there, and feathering just made the edges all fluffy, which is not what I wanted. <laughs> yes, maybe we, we could call the uh, toad Jason Statham, just a, <laughs> as an in-joke for the programmers. No one playing the game would ever know, but there we go. Uh, so yes, you've got yourself an obstacle. <laughs> just leave it that size, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I would like a giant macaron. Oh, I've done that right. There we go. Brilliant. I'm going to lock the background as well, just so I don't do that again. Keep on moving <laughs> it. There we go. Fantastic. And the sharks, do the sharks have a left and right yes. animation? Yes. So Perfect. God, we haven't tested this. Yeah. Let's Let's drag it over to the... Okay. There we go. So the shark have movement, and the frog happily sits on his little platforms, oh. and he, he sadly dies if he falls off. <laughs> but it works. There we it go. Sad. I was sad. 
Okay, right. I need to um, add a new tin, do I? Maybe the newts can go up and down and the sharks can go left and right to give you some varying enemies. Oh, yes. Do it. I'm just really quickly going to remember what I was adding. <laughs> I, love that. I, love that. I always say that. I say, when I don't know what I'm doing, I say, I'm just going to really quickly, and then I do the slowest thing possible. I stop and not know what I'm doing. So, who's that? I'm just inserting some... What? We've got some politician. We're going to search for Newt. <laughs> Newt. Newt. Do you know what? I'm going to go all the way to Google now. I'm getting out of uh, Pixabay, and I'm going to use Google's uh, licensed for use. So when you go into images, searching in Google, um, you have an option called tools, and then you have something called usage rights. And in the usage rights, you can find things that are labeled for non-commercial reuse. Yeah, might as well. And there we go. Here's uh, lots and lots of newts. Although, we probably want them to fit in with a similar style to the shark. People are appreciating our shark, which is nice. Good. Not that Good. we drew it. Bit of shark Download love going your on. own pixabay.com. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to search for illustration type. Uh, type being in line drawing. Line drawing, clip art, clip art. So because we've already built um, a lot of the objects we need in the game, we can just drag them in from the side and make life a lot easier. So we can start doing a bit of level design now whilst we are working on the newt. Fantastic. So I can start dragging in a few of these little... What are they called again? Macaroons. Macaroons. Are they Didn't slightly see-through? Uh, no, I think it's just a, a They're trick just a blue. It's the blue. trick of the yeah. light. Hmm. There we go. Okay, fine. So that is the trick of the game. You've got to spot the macaroons first and then collect them. Very good. So. Okay. This newt is a pretty hefty newt. I think it's a prehistoric animal rather than a newt. Uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll chuck it in. <laughs> Newt. Okay, Newt's down there. Um, and we, I need to add some royalty. I need to get, I'll, I'll get some royalty while you're adding some layers. And the thing with platform games is you can build the platforms up and up and the character can jump up through them, use the ladders to get through them. And we can also add obstacles to block paths. Have you added an obstacle in yet? No, I am or going, a that is my next thing on my list. Fine. And then you just continue the ladder, adding that. just so I have something to go on to build a ladder. Yep. And um, then I can save the rest after that. Fantastic. So, obstacle and a ladder is what we're doing. And yeah, look, once again, we're only using things in the free version of Click Team Fusion, which allows you to yes. import graphics, allows you to make your code yourself. And if you're interested in uh, learning more about Click Team Fusion, YouTube's a great place. We've got a tutorial video, other people have got tutorial videos. Just a getting started video will get you started. You can head over to impactgamers.net and click on learn. Um, and that will have all the information you need. So I think 15 minute video to teach you yeah. all the stuff that we're doing here and a little bit more. Okay, right, royal people, royalty. What is the obstacle? Um, uh, what is the rock. actual? It's a rock. Just a rock. Yeah. Can Chuck you smell rock. what it's cooking? Or we could still have Jason Statham frog and could we, we should call that the rock. Could we just have his head just... You know, um, that's the Dwayne. copyright issue. We can't just have his head. Unless Can we tweet him we first? Tweet tweet yes, him. please do. Is he just under the rock? Because I'm a massive fan. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, so it might... Oh, I don't know if it's... Right. A man making not only bum bags, but the name Dwayne. Yes. If you are watching this, Dwayne, look, we would look, love look, there he is. like it. permission to use your head. At The Rock. Dwayne, if you are listening, Green Day didn't get back to us on Monday. Maybe you're <laughs> listening now. Please, can you... Because um... <laughs> we'd, we'd much prefer your, your head in the game than, yeah. than the Just current one. The rock. Yes. If not, uh, can you tweet Merlin, uh, Merlin's memos? Because uh, she's the next person to pop up on the search for the rock. Um, <laughs> she, might, she might know him. There might be some kind of link. All possible. In this interconnected world we live. Royalty. Oh, I tell you what. You get some bizarre pictures from Pixabay sometimes. <laughs> How would you like that's a picture? That's why that's on that screen. <laughs> why would you like a picture? Oh, yeah, but a picture of an elephant in a balloon. <laughs> or, failing that, let me... Where is it? Where's it, where's it gone? A Bitcoin? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? <laughs> where's it gone? I can't even find it now. There we go. Here we go. This is it. I'm not sure I can get it all the way over to the screen. Here we go. Oh, I can't. Let me resize it. It's, it's worth the wait, guys. Don't Don't tune out uh you search for royalty you are not expecting to see this dude on the sofa <laughs> he's got a good idea though 
and horses. Lots of horses. Right, maybe it's <laughs> got a good idea. <laughs> I'm even like I did. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, I'm. I'm Do we to need the to reach a goal on this game as well as defeat the end boss? I so, will it be like. The old Mario game where you get to the end point and that defeats the end boss. Yeah. How are we going to do this? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so we'll well, have... I don't know. How do we want to win the game? What's going to win the game? Let's ask the audience. We've got plenty of time. What will defeat... Because we can't shoot at the moment, can we? No. So... Do what? Are we going to so add we have shooting? A, B, yeah, yeah. a. Shooting. B. <laughs> Ma... Manu manoeuvring. Is that it? Manu manu manoeuvring. <laughs> we'll say it, that's it. And then we'll just claim yeah. something else later. Or C, shooting manoeuvre. What other ways are of defeating a boss? Oh, collect. Uh, like a switch, like something behind them so yeah. that they'll be moving around. So shoot the boss, outmanoeuvre the boss to get to the switch or to dodge things. Uh, and. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. I have a spare backdrop, and I don't know what for. Uh, a ladder. I've done. I've done ladder. The, the, I've the done rock. rock. Yep, great. And is it set as an obstacle? Shall we quickly show them how we? Um, yeah, just get rid of that. So that's set as a ladder. A previous ladder unused. <laughs> when we watch back the video, you'll realise why you did it. That's so. set as an obstacle type of ladder. Great. And we don't even need to code. It's pre-coded. It's it is all ladders. done in Click Team Fusion. Um, so, here we go. I found a princess that's of an appropriate artistic value and is in green. Oh, not that you saw it, but anyway. <laughs> something something sneaked on briefly there. Yeah, but. not for long. And we'll find a prince. Maybe you should choose which one should survive. Ooh. It's a harsh choice. Only one of them will live. <laughs> you search for prince and you still get princesses. And, and we're struggling to find just a prince. And, well, TJ, why don't you talk while I look through meaningless pictures of... So all I'm doing is, because I realised my level was way too small, is I'm extending it a little bit just to give us a bit more room to play with and to add the newts, because we haven't added them yet, and we need room for the boss and the princess. So we've got this whole stage at the back, which will be like the boss area. If we have time, we could probably add a whole new part of the level. So you for sure now, could. we still got sound effects to go for. Yeah, and I've options? still got to finish adding macaroons to the level because I've only got a few, and we want as many macaroons for our little fat frog. And yeah, I'm gonna have to have some more sharks in as well. Yeah, fine, go for it. Drag and drop those yeah. sharks, baby. <laughs> as I say to TJ on a <sighs> daily basis. How how many sharks do we want? Like, how hard do we want this game? Do you guys want this really difficult or Well, I think playable? this is just a concept that people can then download yes. and add their own levels to. So we'll make it make it easy. We we have this issue at Impact Gamers that people want to make the games nearly impossible from level one. And that's not the way you should treat your players. You should have a learning curve, it's called, so that people get used to playing a game and winning it and before it gets harder. So that's why you need to explain what's happening in the game and getting to know. So a good thing to do on a platform game is to have a positive object right next to you so that as soon as you move, you collect it so you know it's a safe thing to get, you know it's positive, the score will go up. Um, and then after you've got them used to positive things, a simple jump or a simple movement to get them across. Now, I'm going to have to go back to... Uh, Google images. The thing with path movement as well is you can learn the behaviour of the enemy in the game and it lets you kind of preempt preemptive, yeah, yeah, like so you can learn the pattern of the game and even even after it doesn't become boring if you've learned it, it can still be difficult, but it means you um well Dark Souls do it, that it's such a hard game but people are dedicated to it because you yeah. learn every time you die in the game. People in terms of the wide world yeah. <laughs> There's a percentage. There's a, there's, a, there's a percentage, and it's probably below 10%. Yeah. Below 2% of all gamers. Um, I, I never finished it. I, I got quite far, and I felt really proud that I did that, but then well I just done. could not. Well, I'm proud. Did not finish. So, Thank how we you. Do? So, we've got to. We've got this space at the back for like a little boss area. Fantastic. And for a, someone to save. Do you know what? The internet is just crazily sexist, as everyone knows. You can't find a picture of a prince. 
drawn as a cartoon uh, <laughs> that's labelled for reuse. Everyone wants to. You have to pay. You have to pay for those princes unless you want a really low quality one, or a picture of a bear, or a picture of a blue thing with um, really weird ears. Should we save a dragon from the bottom of the ocean? Um, because uh, reasons. It's, it's, all, it's, all, it's, all, it's all possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... There's a picture of a prince and a princess in, a, in an okayish style, or <laughs> quite adult in terms of... The, P45 uh, to beat the boss. <laughs> That's what Tim's put. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You have to you have to find maybe you have to find forty five peas. We'll do that. Instead of macaroons. Like an in joke. No, an in joke that you collect peas that drop from the screen. Dodge the boss's attack. We'll have yeah. the boss attack. We've probably got enough time for that. How long have we got? Twenty five minutes. We'll have the boss attack you. Um like so the boss travels up and down and shoots randomly. You have to dodge those attacks while collecting the peas. Once you've got forty five peas, boss is dead. Right. Or obviously a time machine. Oh yeah, we haven't got any of the enemies of the clock. No, our newts. We need. Have we got newt yet? Yeah, we got newts. Right, yeah. I'll do newt. Yep. I'll add in some peas and. So the clocks could be static, maybe um, static uh, enemies. If the newts are going up and down and the sharks are going left and right. Well, I've put time just as. Is he going to be the boss? Just a one-off like, and boss then and newts and sharks as the mini ones. Yeah, fine. And Let's then do that. With the boss of time. Yes. I'm going to give up. Right. Unfortunately, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the picture of the princess. Um, I'm just too much of too much of a time is being spent trying to find a cartoon picture of a prince. I might as well have drawn my own in this time. And I'm going to get the picture of the prince uh, princess even, and I'm going to princeify her in terms of I'm just going to mean that she does, she's not the only one that needs to be rescued. There's also a prince. The whole royal family have been captured. Who well, are being starved of their peas. That's why we're collecting them. There we go. Um, we should have gone to story design. Yeah, with this yeah. quality of... Yes. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> yes. No. Alright, I'm doing... There we go. Alright, so... Let's make a newt. Do you know what? The difference between a prince and a princess is probably just going to be their clothes. I thought you were going to ask what the difference between a princess and a newt was. <laughs> it's a good question. If you know the difference, please, can you... Tell us. Tell us. There we go. Look, I think I've got a print. What, what I've managed to make is a princess, and when you see it, and a sort of 90s fashion icon princess as well. Just... Um, someone with really short hair, uh, as was popular in the later of the 90s. Right. Okay, let's... Uh, what's happening here? Let's fill this in. Um, I'm just starting out the animation and directions of the newt, and then I'm going to try and remember the list of things I've put on. This is why we rename in things, because sometimes it's like a way of remembering. So you can just add objects, <laughs> rename them, and it's, come back to them later. It's like a way of remembering. Yes. It's <laughs> perfect. Okay. Now, I don't know in terms of the world of um, cute drawings, but I've, I'm just making the eyebrows bigger. Does that make them seem like they're a prince? I don't know. I'm sure there's prints with tiny eyebrows. So, there we go. Fantastic. Yep, we're just we're being locked in. It's a lock in now, TJ. If we don't <laughs> finish the game, we will starve here. <laughs> I did bring some more chicken. Not real chicken. Fridge Raiders is not real chicken. Tastes good though. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <Okay. laughs> right, here we go. I made a prince and <laughs> I made a prince and a princess with with really I've just made two princesses, one with big eyebrows and trousers and one without. But there we go. Maybe if I change the hair colour so they don't look like the same person. I'm taking far too long. I tell you what, it's such a bad idea to have a prince in this game. Oh, everything, even the curve of the body. This is... Oh, stick people in the future. There we go. Right. So royalty is uh, now saved that you can have 
as the end goal. Right, so we need a clock to be timed. Can I just show people how bad that is? Look, there's the princess. What have you done? There's the princess. <laughs> there's the princess. I think you've done a good job. Yes. Do you know, I, I, think, <laughs> I think it's got a strange padding effect happening all over his arms. Yes. <laughs> this table's not allowing the mouse to move that smoothly. Did, anyway, did we've only remind... got 20 minutes left. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> did remind me of the Mitchell and Man yeah. slightly. Uh, but... We're not going to make any more comments about that. We'll allow <laughs> online to comment and to complain yeah. and stuff. So we need a clock to be the thing that we are destroying. We are fighting against the forces of... Oh, right, let's give me... Yeah, that's fine. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. Don't they look great? What a couple. You can see what attracts them to each other. The lack of feet. And the so love of green. me to my wife. A lack of feet. Oh, just like me. No. We both had feet. We both like green. <laughs> yes, we both like green. Well, you have to dress pretty small compared to sharks. Just the, the mini people. You're going to struggle, <laughs> struggle yeah, doing it like that. I would cut it and uh, paste it. Um, to see if you can limp along. Just drag the them along. The well, they have no feet, so I have to drag them. Like, oh, not that small. Why are you making them that small? I thought you said make them small. No, they're too small. Because oh. sharks are. No, no, it's gonna be blurry. Undo, undo, undo that, undo that, undo that. Because we want them to be small. Yeah, but than how the big sharks. is the frog? How big is the back of wounds? What's a, happening with scale? He's a mutant frog. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. Right, I think you're better cutting that. Control an X or cut it, and then paste it. Oh look, it was only. <laughs> it was only. A, it's that far away. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Right, so we've got the end goal. I'm just making the mechanics for the shooting. So that, let the end boss be able to shoot at us and peas rain from the sky. I mean, yeah. right, no, not sky. Yeah, the sky. Just dropped sky into, into the, the ocean. Water. A drop into the ocean. Yes. Peeing into the ocean. As, uh, as you say. Oh, I tell you what. That looks like a sinister clock. Not the, not the Apple Watch. The one above it. Which one? Oh, oh, ooh, I like that one. Yeah. But the uh, slightly creepy. So let's download that. So thank you, Alfredo. We are appreciating your comments. I think they were Alfredo was uh, clapping my um, princess. Just wait one second, TJ. I think that was a clap for my prince and princess. Uh, <laughs> Once again, I'm proving I'm not a robot by clicking a button. I think there's a danger in relying on robots not being able to click buttons because I think they'll learn that quite quickly, seeing as when they had a kid, they learned that within sort of like a year to be able to click a button. I think robots might be able to do it a little bit faster as well. Just a tiny bit. So here we go. So uh, time. Do you, shall I draw a nasty face on time? And the answer from... Everyone is of always yes. yes. How to make things look evil? What makes something look evil? Eyebrows. Evil eyebrows. Oh, what about like an evil moustache? Like an evil gentleman clock? Yep. Could we do that? But I'd like to just, in terms of gender equality, women can be evil as well. They can be evil clocks. And men can be evil clocks. This is true. It's not, you know, don't feel pigeonholed just because you're a gentleman. That you're, you have to be an evil clock. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm going to shave my moustache now. I do not want to be associated with it's being an evil clock. clock. Okay, I'm going to save this as evil clock. Okay, what's the clock going to fire at you? Watches. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, shall we uh, wait until yeah. you, you guys come okay. up with? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, or a time machine. Yes. Yeah. The thing is. Unless we do a DeLorean, it's quite hard to suggest to someone <laughs> I'm shooting a time machine at you. It's a simple fact of you can't buy many time machines uh, nowadays. So there you go. Fire numbers, of course. There we go. We can fire numbers. Ah, do you know what? We could get it. I'm going to blow your mind, TJ. We could get it to fire strings. Strings are um, text in Clicked Infusion. In programming, strings are letters or numbers. Um, now, it could fire a string object because string objects can have movement. So um, if you insert a string object oh. <laughs> and set a font for it. Oh, did okay. you, oh you've already done yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, I can... That's sad. Oh. You can, I don't know what to do. Anyway, I'm going to turn the lights If we have time, we can... Wait, I've got a light here okay. for my keyboard. If we've got time, we could replace yes. it. Yes. Is what I said. Yes. Okay. I will get some music. 
What type of music? What does the bus shoot? Numbers? Okay. And uh, what what should we do in terms of the music? Um, I don't know. Do we go for something like ominous or something a bit cheerful? Or what, hey, do, what do you guys want for om music? Ominous. B. Bubbly. C. Relaxing. Oh, I'm going to get some sound effects, some basic sound effects of boings and other things like Boing. that. So that. Yes, uh, and oh, we need a crunching sound for when it eats the macaroons. Definitely. Crunch. Shall I search for macaroons? Here? So I'm using freesound.org. Crunch. Bone breaker. A so short sound of a bone being ripped apart. So I can't hear it. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't got my headphones plugged in. <laughs> This is why my ears are getting hot for no reason. Do you hate hot ear? Yes. Thing. When you've been on the phone too long. Ooh. Alright, so we need... That's a horrible noise, but I'll download it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it as a surprise for me, so then I when do. I'm playing it, I'll be like... I found, TJ, with, with the games we've made, downloading the sounds from Freesound, sometimes they're in too high a bit rate, too high a standard, and I'm going to save these as MP3s so that they work properly okay. in our games. So I'm going to change the speed of this sound from bone crunching to macaroon eating. It's pretty loud, this. Okay, this is the sound of a frog eating a macaroon. Because they don't have teeth, so it'd be different. It's less of a crunch and more of a squidge. Which might sound similar to might sound similar to a uh, bone being crunched. Okay, so I'm gonna export the audio as export selected audio as a MP3. Right. Um Maca Is it macaroon or macaron? I don't know. I, I've never actually seen the spelling. We'll have to see. Okay. <laughs> Cheerful, bubbly music. Thank you very much, commenters. Okay. Um, so I'll grab the music as well now. I'm just making the pea collecting mechanic. So I'm making it so they spawn in quite rapidly. Um, and I've made it so their initial direction is going to be one of these. The computer will actually... Randomly choose. Yes. So we can just have them firing all over the screen and it won't be as predictable. So that's the plan. Um, they're going to be going at a f fair speed, but nothing too crazy. Um, and then we just need to see if it, when we actually collect them, they get destroyed just so we can't like cheat. Um, and we're going to add it to a counter. So we've got a special P collecting counter. <laughs> Quite, quite retro and arcade, yeah, yeah. I like it. And we're take oh, I can't hear I can't hear what's happening. Am I shouting now? I can't hear it's so loud. So loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry about that. Um yeah, so that's from natantime.com. Uh and we can use that as long as we give them credit. So <sighs> we'll put that on the website. I understand that. I'd like to use the track. So let's show this in folder and just move it over to X Drive. Oh, I need a... Thank you, Marwan Nimra. I'm saying it a bit better now. Oh, 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 TJ. Yes. Oh, wait a second. Did you see that you had the multiple frames there for the different numbers? Yes. Okay. So maybe if we can select these, can we select multiple... Oh, can we... Oh, <laughs> can I press the wrong button? <laughs> maybe can we select all these? Can you paste those into uh, active objects? Ah, oh, so we could have it fire numbers at you and just get it to automatically and choose a random frame. Oh, for the clock blocks, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we just need to choose a different colour so that it doesn't match our score. Yes. So can I clone that and... Oh, uh, so that's the counter, that's score and... Oh, I don't, I don't mind what it is, <laughs> but um, red numbers to, to fire? Just, just as a definite sign of danger. Yeah, and then we can copy all these. And then put it into clock bullet. Clock bullet. Get rid of that. That's not needed. Clock, clock, clock bullet. I mean, he said something rude then. <laughs> clock, <laughs> clock, 
<laughs> bullet. <laughs> it's funny how many words rhyme with uh, bullet, isn't it? Right, um, so... Okay, so, right, pay attention. Frame one, ladies and gentlemen, um, to frame 10 is actually frame zero to frame nine in the event editor. I don't know why they do that, but the first frame is frame zero. So on the, um, on the clock bullet, if we set it to have direction of uh, speed of zero, then you can set the animation frame to be random 10. So it'll be a number between zero and nine um, every time it fires. And that should work quite well. Oh, no, I it think. starts at frame one. It's no, 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 seriously. Wait, oh, wait, so for, when it. wait for it, wait for it. As soon as we do it as a rule, so um, we could say that um, as soon as... So have you got these spawning yet, the clock bullets? I'll just make a... No, not yet. I'll oh, just wait, make actually. A, I'll just make a, a, a rule. Yeah, I think it's one of these. For no, it's not. We haven't, got, we haven't got anything. This one. Oh, here we go. Launch clock bullet. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Can you set the animation, change animation frame, and look... First frame number is zero. What? I know. I know. Don't know why. <laughs> but if we do this, then it'll choose between zero and nine, and should work. So, fantastic. Can we move time onto the screen? Oh, and we've got an image for it now. Nice. And then we can uh, see. Is, is time on a path movement? Yes. Fantastic. Time is. Where is time? It what is, is time? Here. Who is time? And then I'm just going to add. We've only image. got ten minutes. That's the time we've got. Ooh. All right. So. The sound effects going. Evil clock. There we go, got him. Right, I'll finish up yeah, hiding that. things a little bit. Yeah. Can we have him on a path movement? And can we set it to every random, it's quite big, every random whatever that he changes size, uh, not uh, change it, reverse his direction, reverses his movement, so that he, that's too small, come on, yeah, bigger, 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 bigger. Like, think Bowser versus Mario. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's better. Yeah, perfect. Oh, wait, um, I need to probably put him down here because his yeah. movement starts there. Great. Fantastic. And then every... We've got the type of music. Cheerful. What range should we put for his movement direction changing? Oh, what? A chance? Oh, uh, sure, it's chance instead of random. Oh, no, well, yeah, and every random is, is a slightly bizarre thing that doesn't work very well. Yeah, so if you do an... Uh, if you do it, yeah, no, 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 every, yeah, like you were saying, every half a second, every uh, half a second, we could do it X chances out of Y with these uh, special conditions. So if you insert an extra, yeah. so X chances out, like there's a one in three chance, so one out of three, uh, that he reverses, so just underneath time. And it does that thing of not updating. It's weird. It doesn't update <laughs> the image if you put a big image in. Oh, not select direction. It's just reverse, movement reverse. Ah. That's it, because he's... Um, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, right, okay. It's a lot quicker than adding 16 to his direction. <laughs> Is the screen following our frog, or are we going to lose the frog? And have we saved our work? Many questions that we have to ask. Copy three. There we go. Fantastic. Saved. I'm just checking Ch now. Cheerful, cheerful, cheerful. Right. I haven't even put a new in yet. We haven't even added. Oh no, we've got a new. We've got a new Anna Shark. Fantastic. We Mac need to put a new in the middle of those two platforms, don't we? In between those yes, two. Yes, we do. That would be good. Uh, double click on the new. Just get it to always face the other direction. Oh, I've made oh. a rule for it, so it's always. Oh, it depends if it's going left. up and down. Okay, that'll be interesting. It'll be, it'll be good, it'll be good, it'll be good, it'll be great. It looks great, well done, it's looking great. <laughs> Seven minutes left, TJ. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, we should ooh, be all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we should have multiple platforms near each other and ladders near each other so that your frog can go up and down at this point when you're fighting time. Yeah, so if we start adding ladders around the back. Yeah, and get it to overlap the platform so that the ladder goes all the way through so you can choose to get off at the platform. That's fine. It doesn't need to be at the front, but it'd be useful to see, yeah. Yep. And then put another ladder that's overlapping that one. Perfect. That you can keep on going up. Yeah, that'll do. It's going to get, because they're wonky, it's going to keep on going off the side. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Great. And then add one more just right. We haven't tested side. much of the code, but I'll get the sounds. If you want to test this gameplay, I'll check that he shoots numbers, and then we need to check that the numbers injure. We're very close. I have to time. finish with the 
P mechanic for how we defeat him. We haven't actually yeah. got a wave. Oh, shall I get some P's? Shall I draw a P? Yeah, I've done the code for it. Um, I just need to do it so that that's how we defeat the boss or so the counter. No, I'm going to do uh. a slightly yellowy P just for the simple fact that the frog's quite green and not to bring confusion between P's and frogs. It would just be awful. I'd hate that to happen to anyone, to be confused about P's and frogs. So... So when we have 45 P's and... <laughs> what are you counting the P's on? Um, the uh, counter. Cool. And are you counting up or counting down to, uh, to P victory? Up. Up to P victory. Okay. Um, sometimes it's useful. I'm not. This is not a criticism, TJ. Don't think so. <laughs> sometimes it's useful count to count down, down to give them a so bit that of a, you know yeah. how many you need to get because you might just always get 30 p's and lose and think this game is useless. <laughs> I collected enough. <laughs> um, the boss only gets destroyed when you hit 45. So then you can move forward to collect. Well, not collect them, to help rescue the royal family. Cool. And so, what rule are you going to do about knowing that you've won the royal family? I'm just going to make it so it goes to the next frame. Yep. Or shall we just restart it at uh, end application? Uh, end the application. No, the restart the application. So that people can play it online again and again and there we again. Go. Good. So if you've collided with them and and you destroy time when the peas get to 45, great. And do, when, do the peas stop spawning when you get to 45 or are they always spawning? Always spawning. Uh, I thought it just looked good, but we can turn it off. It's fine. Is it up to you? It's up to you. Um, we're just making it so now we can actually lose the game, and if we are no longer here, yeah. Then if you click, shall we do it as a click? Uh, yeah. Let, no. Uh, keyboard. Keyboard. So if we press spacebar, yeah. we can restart yeah. the application. Yeah. Now, by default, uh, shift will be jump, won't it? Yes. Uh, because that's button one. Um, and in platform movement, you can choose it. Button one is jump or button two is jump, and that's your limitations, uh, which would be space bar would be button two. Um, but we'll leave that as something separate. And just need to add the counter. So we see there's been some more comments uh, we've missed out Ooh. and we want to just represent for the peoples. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Anyway, thanks, Pat, for being there. We appreciate that. Fantastic. And, and on the other, we've, we're just moving tabs everywhere. Yep, that's it. Nope, that's not it. Uh, yeah, that's there it. There we go. Fantastic. Good. Yeah, make it a tricky game. <laughs> and also I think it will be, actually. A comment, which is interesting. What, <gasps> did you say? what did you say? What are you saying to us? <laughs> right, frog through time. Um, test the game mechanics of it. See if you can... So things we just need to do. We pee. need to be able to, in any game... Let's get rid of these. In any game, you need to be able to win. Well, we need to be able to move, win, lose, and ideally the game to restart. So let's check that we can do those. We'll tick those off we as go. we go along. Right, are you going to try running the game? Yep. Oh, can we add the, sound, the background sounds? Oh, of course. I'll get some more background sounds as we go. So, so it's only the macaroon and at the start of the frame to loop the music. Perfect. Play yeah. uh, yeah, browse. Wait, da, 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 That's yeah. it. Perfect. Zero for infinite continuous loop. And then when we collect the macarons. Yes. Play the sound. Perfect. Right. Let me go and find. Yeah. Right. Now I'll run it. Right. Let's test it now. Thing I did. We need to make sure we follow ourselves. Always scrolling. Center window position and frame on the relative to the player. Great. Now you fell off when you got to that. Yes, I know. Now is a rock an obstacle? Yes. Are you sure? Let's just double check because I did make a few different. Things. There we uh, go. That's, that's, that's what I deleted about. one early, didn't I? I think mm, I just yes. created. People were shouting many. all over Facebook. Why have you deleted that? You there was a book There we go. Okay. Rock through time, ladies and gentlemen. We've got one minute left. Ooh. That worked. 
There we go. <laughs> yeah, equal or greater than. On line 13, double click on it. And on the 45, double click on the 45. Don't change that, but double click on the 45. There we go. And change it to equal or greater than. We will have to save it because it has been an hour. There is just a few tiny, tiny little tweaks that we'll make to it in the next uh, minute, but we'll concentrate and uh, not actually... Uh, oh, there you go. He went downwards the whole time. You have to pull this. Yeah, that, his nose. Yeah, it's that's right. it. Oh, you can do that. There we go. Perfect. And I think with the peas, if you move the spawn point even higher and make them even smaller, um, then I think it will uh, it will work better as well. We'll do that. Right, you need to, ladies and gentlemen. So we made it that we can move. We will be able to win. We can lose and the game will restart. So we will upload this in the next few minutes, just in two minutes' time, to impactgamers.net forward slash appy. Um, we'll put the controls underneath and... Uh, credit the people for their lovely music thank you for joining us tomorrow it's going to be a double happy hour double happy hour which means that from 5 30 to 6 30 you will uh, join tj um, and we'll be using the full version of click team fusion showing you guys the full power of click team and then for a bonus seven till eight o'clock tomorrow night that's thursday the 18th it's going to be me in the programming seat and uh, TJ doing the commenting and getting the game assets ready. That's the images and stuff. I'm not just making up words. All right, then. <laughs> Thank you very much. Head over to impactgamers.net forward slash appy. Subscribe to YouTube. Like us on Facebook um, and do all that thing. Uh, really Stalk us on Twitter. All those people, yes. <laughs> all those people uh, who have commented and watched live. Thank you so much for your help, um, especially uh, Tim and Kyle who have commented so much and made frog through time yeah they're like the creative directors of this game now it's a beautiful so well thing. done take care we'll see you tomorrow or see you in real life if you are real bye now because we're streaming on facebook and youtube those people on youtube get an extra 10 seconds of tj making an odd noise no. well that was probably quite loud actually i apologize for your ears